Hey, I'm Chris, and today we're going to demonstrate alarming with a NI data acquisition device and LabVIEW. So I'll be using an NI C-Series data acquisition module, uh, specifically designed for thermocouples, and a compact DAC chassis, and I've wired my thermocouple into analog input zero. If we switch over to LabVIEW, you can see I've already placed my DAC assistant on the block diagram, and so what we want to do is detect if our temperature has crossed a certain threshold or limit. To do that, we'll use the mask and limit VI. So if I right click, go to signal analysis, and we'll see the mask and limit VI. And we'll place that on the block diagram and it will pop up a dialog where I can select from the upper or lower limit. In this case, we're going to configure an upper limit and define that as a constant value. So when we cross 27 degrees, then uh, it'll, it'll trigger our alarm. So the next thing we need to do is wire up our data signal to the input, uh, the signal's input. And then I'm actually going to move my, my waveform graph uh, to the output of the mask and limit VI. This way it'll display my limits on the graph as well as my original signal. And now to indicate whether our actual signal value is below or above that limit, we can use the pass boolean. So if it is below the limit, it will indicate a, a true value. So I can right click that and create an indicator and it will create a LED boolean on my front panel. And now when I run the VI, you can see that by default the boolean value is true because my temperature signal, which is in the white, is below the threshold. So in our case, we want to generate alarm. So we want the value to be true if it is above our threshold. So what we're actually going to do is invert that value. And so I can right click on the Boolean wire, go to the Boolean palette, and insert uh, a, a not uh, function. And now when I press the run button, you'll see the Boolean value is off. If I touch the thermocouple, it'll warm up and the LED will turn on. In addition to displaying uh, LEDs or lights on the user interface, we can also display a light in the real world. So in this case, I'm using a spinning light which is plugged into the wall and I'll be using a National Instrument C-Series relay module to switch on or off that light. So to interface with a relay module, I can add another DAC assistant to the block diagram. And then what I'm going to be doing is generating a digital signal to turn on or off the line. And so you'll notice on uh, the, the wizard here that uh, the relay module has up to four digital lines. In this case, we're only going to use one. And then we can hit OK. And then when the DAC assistant uh, VI is generated, you'll see it only has one data input. Um, and so it's actually looking for an array of four values for each of those relay lines. So if I right click the input, I can go to the array palette, and we're going to build an array of values. So in this case, just our one value uh, from the same value that we're passing to that LED indicator. And now if I press the run button, you can see if I touch the thermocouple wire, once it crosses that threshold, the spinning light will turn on. And that's how you do alarming with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW.